Hello loves, welcome back to Musi's Modern Dreadfuls. To all of you fans of the eerie, surreal, macabre, or macabre, whichever way you feel like saying it, I prefer macabre as we all know. But instead of arguing the virtues of saying macabre over macabre, get comfy and relax because the one, the only, hyper obscura is today's author. Daddy's Chainsaw by Hyper Obscura. Daddy's Chainsaw is a rusty abomination. All teeth and noise and bone splintering force. Spewing smoke and coughing discordantly as it cuts through all the layers. Spilling the stuff and squishing the insides. You can see it staring at you from the corner of the garage. Shiny, beady eyes, metal grin, scarred and disfigured, old and evil. It's never dormant, not really. It's always hungry, you see. Always needs more. You can't leave it alone. It will crawl out on grimy, tarnished joints, and you will never see it coming. Jolt awake to the sound of your guts turning into liquid. <laughs> Scream into the deafening roar of the chain. Convulse as it digs deeper and deeper, uncovering all those things that are meant to be on the inside. That's why I sit here. As long as I keep an eye on it, we will be okay. As long as we watch it, it can't move. Old laws long forgotten, but somehow instinctively followed. Awaken unseen. Move unseen. Murder unseen. Lily! Daddy yells with a look of frustration and annoyance on his face. Yes, Daddy. What have I told you about messing around in the garage? But I didn't. Don't try me, girl. What's this then? But I, I swear, Daddy, I didn't. This is your last warning. Grab your doll and go get ready for dinner. Lily sweeps me up in her arms apologetically. This isn't over, Daddy's chainsaw. You know I'll be back when their eyes aren't on me. Oh, that is an example of why I love to cover Hyper Obscura's works so much. Not only do they range from creepy to outright terrifying, there's always something surreal about his stories. Like, you might be, you might have been slipped a Mickey before you, <laughs> you sat down to hear your story. So, Anyway, I'll let you come up with your interpretation. I feel like there's two perspectives, obviously, and you're hearing from one the most. Sort of. You come up, tell me what you think. Is it the doll? The whole time talking? Or is it Lily sometimes talking? What's going on? What do you think is going on? Tell me down below because I really, really want to know. Or if you think there's more than one protagonist in the story, let me know that too. And boom. Surprise second video. And this one is called Notes from the Exorcism of Sarah Pinocchio. By Hyper Obscura. Notes from the Exorcism of 
Sarah Pinocchio, day one. Sarah Pinocchio had a weird fucking surname, and she was also possessed by a demon. Her mother reached out to me after her daughter had done the old 360 head spin, a fairly sure sign of demonic possession. Thus, I packed my shit and hustled it out to 66.6 Fletcher Street, post haste. She looks a bit pale. Yeah, I noted, staring at the young girl. Vitamin deficiency, possibly. But she's hovering mid-air, the mother yelled. Mm-hmm, I nodded. Valid point. Day two. An initial test showed signs of a stage three demonic possession. Those fuckers are rare. Let me tell ya, I knew the poor thing would die if I attempted a full-on exorcism. So I chilled out for a bit and read her some Bible verses, occasionally sprinkling her with some holy water. Jesus, um, compels you, I mutter idly. Ow. Fuck your dead grandma to shreds! The demon shrieks. Well, that was uncalled for. I sigh. Day three. The mother is on my case like a leech to an eyeball. Jesus, lady, just let me do my job, will ya? I've done this shit for decades, but Karen over here has seen the movies. The movies? Aren't you supposed to force the demon out? <sighs> Lady, you don't want to force those lads to do anything, I respond. Day four. The demon is getting brisky. The child is shedding skin like she's a big old anaconda. And the pulsating black veins underneath remind me of chocolate glazed strawberries for some reason. Leave the child alone, will ya? I ask of the dark presence. Fuck you and your dead grandma. Ma'am, what is your beef with my grandma? I ask. Day five. The demon is starting to rear its ugly head. Every once in a while, Sarah's eyes pop out of their sockets and these disgusting fucking maggoty appendages squirm out of them. Not sure what that's all about. Pretty fucking weird. I awkwardly push them back in with a pencil and place the eyes back gently. Day 6. Karen is fed up with me. Says she'll call the police. Really, lady? The police? They don't have the best track record with shit they don't understand, do they? Look, Karen. I say, give it a day or two and I'll have this shit sorted. My name is Melinda, she snarls, and you better be telling the truth. Day 7. The demon is ripe for the poppening. You can tell by the way the veins swell with black fluid, and also by the manner in which it murders the mother, Karen. I mean, Melinda. I had to close my eyes, but the sounds alone were enough to make me upchuck my lunch. We done here? I asked the demon. Thank you, Black Father Thomas, for keeping the child alive whilst I grew. The demon booms. Anytime, I shrug. Let the big boss know, will ya? Your family remains safe from the dis. Oh.
Much appreciado. Accept your fucking grandma. Man. And once again, those were two, two, I got two in two stories by hyper obscura and if you are listening to this and it's still august it took a miracle of biblical proportions to get this out to you so i hope you enjoyed both stories um the first one was called daddy's chainsaw and the second one was Notes from the Exorcism of Sarah Pinocchio. Love you all. Enjoy. Please take a moment if you were once subscribed to check and make sure that you're still subscribed because I've been hearing a lot about that happening again where people are suddenly helped out of their subscription, you know, because they didn't want to unsubscribe, but they've been helped out by someone i don't know someone something who knows and if you're still listening at this point and you're not subscribed it's time to just give in and give me a sub it costs you nothing it's free of charge it doesn't tattoo you or cause you bodily harm just go for it and here's your second reminder to just go ahead and subscribe and leave me thumbs ups and and comments and all kinds of fun things like that. You'll enjoy it here. We have a good time. All right. Bye for now, loves. <laughs>